Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another tutorial and uh, this one is also uh, continuing a series about crossfading different things inside Thor. Uh, when I last uh, checked here I was crossfading between two oscillators so this time we're going to do something a little different. So we're going to clear out this uh, first line that we wrote and what we're going to do is we're going to take these two oscillators and we're actually going to um, basically crossfade between two filters this time. Uh, the way we're going to do that is let's add a format filter in here and let's make an interesting we'll add a comb filter in here. Uh, let's just hear what the first oscillator sounds like when we go through that comb filter and then out. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. That's what it's going to sound like. Um, let's actually make it a little... Uh, let's leave it. Okay, so that's what it sounds like with a comb filter going through it. Now let's listen to what this, um, this same oscillator, we'll just turn this off, let's take the same oscillator and let's now send it through the formant filter. It's not going through the comb filter at this point, it's just going through the formant filter. So that's a classic format filter sound. We'll turn the envelope off. So you can definitely hear a difference there, okay? Okay, now what we want to do is we want to be able to crossfade these. The only problem is that um, if you have two filters like this, to crossfade the filters, you can't really do it if you're using these um, assignments here because if you send both of them through you're going to hear both those filters at once and they're both going being output to the amp so way around that is you're going to disconnect these you're going to break the routing and right now if you press a button or play a key nothing's going to come out of it but you're going to do all your routing down here so in here you're going to take oscillator one you do two instances of it first one is going to go to the destination of filter one audio input second one is going to go to the destination of filter two audio input and then what you're going to do is you are going to use a scaling knob we'll use rotary one to crossfade the filter and in order to do that let's just make that x a large x so you can see it okay and in order to do that you're going to do negative 100 for rotary 1 and the second one you're going to do positive 100 for rotary 1 and what this is going to do is it's basically saying we want oscillator 1 to go through filter 1 when the rotary is set to 0 or minus 100 and we want the same oscillator 1 to go through filter 2 when it's set to a positive 100 so now you're basically crossfading the filters on this knob here so when you play it And that's how you crossfade between two filters. Of course, this is an easy setup if you have one oscillator here. If you do have two oscillators, if you're sending both, the same thing applies. You just have to do oscillator 2, 100 to filter 1 in. And the same thing, oscillator 2 goes into filter 2. And the same thing applies. Minus 100 is going to go to rotary 1. And positive 100 also going to go to rotary 1. So now you've got the two, f two oscillators that are going into either the comb filter or the format filter based on this knob. thing is you can go ahead take your LFO 2 again and you can do an amount of 100 to um, actually no nope, I'm sorry I'm not gonna get into that right now but basically this is a way that you can crossfade between your two filters here and uh, once again 
it's another Reason tutorial from uh, Reason101.net. My name's Rob, and I hope you join me again for some more filter fun and some more Thor fun. I will uh, be doing a little bit more crossfading, and a couple more tutorials will be coming your way. Thanks for watching.